I'm Jerry Weigel, a fish production development section leader, and we're going to talk about our production and stocking program across the state this year. So our goal this year, we actually dropped a little bit down to about eight and a half million walleye. So the lower request is, is related to less fish needed at Devil's Lake and also Sakakawea dropping from two million to a million fish. Because in both cases, those systems have pretty strong young uh, fisheries coming up the system. So we were able to back off a little bit and uh, make room for some uh, other production like our Northern Pike production. So for more than 50 years now, North Dakota might be the only state in the nation that has no hatcheries. We partner with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. So it's the Fish and Wildlife Service that raised the fish, but we've always partnered in all those years, collecting the eggs, shipping the fish. Uh, the state has, has also contributed to some of the infrastructure here to enhance our production capability. And it's been an amazing partnership. They're very good at what they do. You can't raise fish cheaper than what we, they're able to do it. And the other thing is, is uh, you know, over the years, as we used to only stock five million walleyes, and we needed eight million walleyes, and now we're up to 10 million walleyes some years, they just find a way to make it happen and get it done. All the ponds here, there's 64 ponds, and if you've ever driven across Garrison Dam and look off to the south, you'll see one unit of 24 ponds, and then you'll see another other area of 40 ponds. You can't miss them. All these ponds drain into a kettle behind me, and each day one pond is drained into a kettle, and that's loaded onto the truck, and we typically leave with a truckload of fish, roughly a half a million, and an average day is 12 to 20 lakes. So the walleye we're stocking this year are really for two and three years down the road. The amazing fishing that's occurring right now was what this process helped contribute along with natural reproduction two and three years ago to create the fish they're catching right now. So we're actually creating future fishing opportunities to try to uh, eliminate the bumps of a, bad, a poor year of fishing. We try to make sure there's just good fishing every year if we can. I would say fishing on the prairie takes two components. Of course it takes fish, but it really takes water. And we are so fortunate to have all this extra water the last couple decades. And this new water is just amazing habitat to create young fisheries. And so we're seeing that uh, the last five years, just this incredible fishing at, in lakes that did not exist 20 years ago. They were sloughs or hay bottom, hay to actually dry. And so yes, uh, the fish production is a, is a key component, but having those amazing natural new lakes out in the landscape has uh, given us the playground to do what we're able to do. Roughly that eight million give or take that stayed in the state uh, was about 140 lakes we went to. Uh, Northern Pike, <laughs> we struggled this year with Northern Pike, but we were able to come up with 300,000 Northern Pike that uh, covered all the winter kill uh, situation we had. So all the winter kill pike lakes have been restocked. Um, you know, obviously with all the extra water we had out there, uh, the, the drivers have, have noted just really good uh, food conditions, cool water, amazing conditions that I think these fish will really do well and should help contribute. While traveling around the state, I was asked numerous times about winter kill and how severe and, and uh, impact, how much of an impact did it have? And, uh, you know, my response is, is 30 and 35 years ago when I started my career, and we only had 150 fishing lakes. When you lose 20 lakes, that's a big impact. This year we have 450 fishing lakes and we lose 20 lakes. It's a tiny bump in the road and we're able to get them back online really fast. And as folks probably witness, they're not noticing any less fishing out there this, this season. It's, it's just great fishing. Each year we try to ship about 60,000 uh, half pound each, 10 inch or so, 
trout to about 40 lakes across the state. And in addition, there's maybe a dozen to 15 community ponds, primarily in the bigger cities and smaller communities all across North Dakota that we actually, in addition, will bring in, uh, say, a, a, a thousand to 2,000 pounds of uh, brood fish. These are from Wyoming, provides to us, they're one to two pound each. All instant fisheries, all trout is about something that's ready to catch instantly and uh, provides that right off the bat, great stocking, uh, great uh, activity, and especially in communities where it's mostly shore fishing, uh, elderly and young kids, it's, it's, it just creates great opportunities. So one unique thing we did this year that's been uh, really growing across the upper Midwest and the western states is uh, tiger trout, which is a cross between a brook trout and a brown trout. And we are fortunate that Wyoming was able to provide 5,000 uh, five to seven inch fish to us of which we put half in Fish Creek and the other half in Hooker Lake. You know, obviously in this fast paced world, uh, we want information uh, instantly. We don't want to have to drive home or print something out, even though you can. So everything's available from your smartphone. You jump on the department's website. Uh, we have a where to fish page. It's probably the, the best place to go for everything fishing. You can find contour maps. You can find st what, what's, what has been stocked. Uh, you can find survey data. What, what have we been catching in our survey nets in those lakes? So it's just a, a well-rounded everything about that lake, the driving directions, actually a little Google map to help you find where the boat ramps, the fish cleaning stations. Uh, everything's out there on that where to fish in the department's uh, webpage. We've honestly never seen as many um, active boating trailers, fishermen at all the lakes across the state. I mean, it used to be you'd have a lake or two that was really hot and that's where everybody was at. It's, that occurs at every lake you go to this year. It's just really impressive on how much fishing and happy fishermen there is across the state right now.